I've been playing non-stop my Magnum for more than two weeks now with this build and honestly this has been my absolute favorite so far. With all the crazy proc meta and insane damage that is going on right now, this build is a perfect counter for most of it while being fun to play with. Hey everyone, Monk here and welcome back to my build video of Magicka Warden for Battlegrounds and no CP PvP in Grimmer Patch. And as always, before we get into the build, if you do like it and it helps you in any way, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future content. I'm quite young as a YouTuber and your support will really help me getting on my feet. So without any delay, let's start with the stats. These stats are completely self-buffed and in no champion point Cyrodiil, so you get what you see here. So to begin with, my Mac 10 is still Nord. Yes, it is not the best race for a Magicka build, but uh, with Magden it just fits perfectly. Magden has so much ultimate generation built in the passives and uh, combined with Nord ultigen, we can literally use ultimates back to back. However, if you are a Breton, High Elf, Dunmer or even Argonian, this build will work just fine. We have 24,000 health with 27,000 Magicka and a very decent 16,000 Stample for any Magicka build. Having so much stamp definitely helps us with more roll dodges and block when we need considering there are so many other mitigation we have on the build. Our magic recovery is almost 2000 and a decent 700 stamp recovery. Our self buff spell damage is 3.2k with almost 8000 penetration which goes up to 14000 and you will see when we talk more about it on the skill section. At 24000 spell and 22000 physical resistances the numbers are nothing to boast about but we have another 8% damage reduction from our ice fortress skill which is roughly 5000 resistance on its own. And we don't even need to slot extra skill for that such as Temporal Guard as long as you keep the Ice Fortress active. Which you should because this uh, gives us our major resistance buff. We are using the Etronok Mindestone for extra mag recovery. However if you feel you can sustain without it then you can swap to Apprentice for more spell damage or lower for more penetration. Both options are equally good. Now these stats have been working fine for me however if you find something isn't right for you then feel free to change a cliff here and there and uh, make it work for you. Also some of my gear is still purple so if you have a complete gold setup then you'll see slightly better stats. Next let's have a quick look at the skills. We are using a gesture and a restoration power setup. On the front bar we have arctic blast our main stun as well as burst heal. Yes it is not the best stun in the game but unfortunately it is what it is. You can replace it with Destructive Clench, but uh, I prefer this because in outnumber situation it's an AoE stun and uh, especially in Battleground works quite well. Next we have Fetcher Infection, our main dot and 8% uh, damage taken debuff for enemy players. The damage is not insane but gets the job done, especially with our next skill which is uh, our bread and butter for burst, Deep Fisher, an amazing AoE burst damage skill and many times works as an execute. Also DB of the enemy with major breach so effectively we go to about 14,000 penetration as I mentioned before. Next we have is crushing shock our main spammable and uh, I prefer this to other spammables such as cliff racer for two reasons. First because of the destruction stuff passive, the skill ignores another 10% of enemy spell resistances and second when we land a kill with this skill we get another 3600 magicka back which again helps us with our sustain. Next skill is Crystallized Slap. I absolutely love this skill. Although of defensive nature, it actually helps me with putting more pressure on range enemy players. The ice bolt it hits back is almost 5500 and that can happen every half second. So that's another 15,000 of burst damage in less than 2 seconds. With this up, you can keep up pushing on range players without even thinking about defense. If you have noticed in the background clip, I always try to keep this up and it has saved my ass more times than I care to admit. Now the ultimate on this bar, we have uh, Northern Storm. This is one loaded ultimate with tons of damage, 40% speed reduction, 15% max max for 30 seconds, and major protection. I see no reason to use any other ultimate on Magnum, especially combined with our gear. This thing is a death trap for those who get caught in it. On the back bar, first skill is Race Against Time. I use this skill for two main reasons. First for major expedition to help us move around much quickly and second to remove any snare or immobilization from us as well as giving us 2 second immunity. 
This skill alone comes so handy when you need to get out of a tricky situation or have to chase down anyone trying to run away. Next skill is Rapid Region or Heal Over Time and with this running in the back and Arctic Blast on the front is usually enough to get us back on the track. And to supplement it, we have Harness Magica, our next skill. So basically I use Rapid Region followed by a Harness and that gives Rapid Region enough time to heal us while Harness gives us about 1 or 2 seconds of protection. You can also slot leeching lines here if you prefer but uh, I find harness better as uh, it also helps me with sustain. Next skill is Ice Fortress, gives us major resistance buff as well as minor protection so make sure to keep it up all the time. Another fifth skill is Blue Betty, restores almost 5000 magicka over 25 seconds while giving us major sorcery. And on top of it, double cost of this skill heals us for a bit as well as gives us major toughness increasing our health by 10% and every cast of the skill removes one harmful effect from us while it automatically does that every 5 seconds so in case you forgot it, it will do the job for you on its own and with all the proc meta that is going on currently, this skill is a lifesaver for the ultimate on this bar, I'm using life giver, cheap and solid skill when we are really at the deep end has saved my life countless times you can replace it with healing ticket if you so prefer but in my opinion lifesaver is much better as uh, not only it heals but also does a free cast of rapid region along with combat prayer and healing ward given you have those skills unlocked and morphed in the restoration stuff tree. Next let's have a look at the gear. Usually the first item I present is our monster set but uh, this time I'm starting with a different piece and that is the mythic item ring of malakath brutality. 25% non crit damage increase is absolutely dumb and broken. All of our damage beats spammable, dots, burst or ultimate, everything hits 25% strong as well as a proc from our monster set that is Vulcan Scoria. One piece bonus with 1435 penetration buffs all of our damage and an almost 10,000 proc which actually is 12,500 with Malakath is a huge burst. Even with 8% proc chance this set procs like crazy and funny thing is so many times it will get you a kill even after you die. However, if you prefer defense, then you can still use Blood Spawn, but in my opinion, as explained in the skill section, with so many defensive options on Magden, we can actually go offensive with our gear at least. And if you need help with finding Malakas Ring, then please check out my guide for the same. As a matter of fact, if you need help finding any other mythic item, then you can check out my uh, guide videos for the mythic items, I'll leave a link in the description. Next set is my all-time favorite, Bright Throat Bows. Yes, I'm still using this set considering the amount of max pack and recovery it provides and yes, I have tried Eternal Vigor but it wasn't that great on Magden. Also the food I'm using with this set is uh, old uh, spring loaded infusion, not the best food for some but it gets the job done. And the last set we are using is 4 piece stone. If you're wondering why we are using only 4 piece then the reason is with the use of mythic item either you give up 1 piece of monster set or 5th piece of any other gear. And for me, damage from Scoria is too much to lose. Additionally, for the 4 piece, Stoon gives us the best damage possible of any other damage set. And it's craftable, so we can fit the pieces as we wish. Another option here will be Clever Alchemist, however I don't like the 20 second window and would rather have the sustained damage all the time. So if you do prefer Clever, then craft a healing stuff for the back bar and you're good to go. All the body pieces I have are Impen, big pieces with Tristat Glyphs and small ones with uh, Magicka. Jewelry I'm using all three infused with two spell damage glyph and one Magicka recovery. Although if you don't have enough transmute crystals then you can use Arcane as well, the difference is not that big. Front bar I'm using a Nun Hone destruction staff with Berserker Enchant and on back bar a defending healing staff of Potentes with uh, double dot poisons. So that was it guys, my magnum build for battlegrounds and no champion point pvp in grey mode. The build is quite balanced, however if you have any difficulties regarding any part of the build, do post them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. The build is flexible and can be easily adapted to your preferable playstyle. So see you soon in the next video and till then have a good time, see ya.